Okay, this week we are going to draw on some foil today for our Aztec sun and our sun god Tonatia. So you have these same shapes that you used for your center of your sun. Once again, you can just trace around the foil like that. And then safely try to cut it out. Now, if it's not perfect, that's okay. Or if it gets crumpled a little bit. Sorry. Right. And you might want to keep this extra because maybe we can add some details to your sun with the extra if we have time. All right. So once that's all cut out, I have two different examples. One is that you can draw the tone of tia just on your regular sun, and I can show you that video. Or we can glue your silver foil down to add some extra color to your sun god. I'm just going to glue right on top of it and we see the circle that we need to glue into because it's drawn for you and yours should be blank. All right, I'm going to glue my foil down safely. Once it's on there, we can start drawing our Aztec sun god Tenetia. And we're going to draw very simple lines and shapes. So we're going to start with the basics. And we're going to go with our thin markers. I'm right now using a thick one just so you can see a little bit better with a horizontal line. First shape, eyes. So we're going to start with a rainbow. Another rainbow. Smiley face, smiley face. Now you don't want to touch this right away because it can smear. So try to keep your hands separate from that. All right, next will be the nose. I'm gonna start with a little U in the middle. Big backwards C, or C and a backwards C. There's our nose. And do the mouth with a horizontal line underneath the nose. Another letter C. And another backward C. Okay, for the tongue, just a long letter U. Connect and connect. All right, so there's our main shapes. We can make those earrings on the side with a big circle, one circle, two circles. And now we can start adding the details. So I'll start with my eyes. They drew another set inside. So I'm just gonna follow that same shape around. And then, Circles in the middle. On the top, we have a little basket with the letter U. Line straight across. Tiny rectangle. And then three little rainbows. One, two, three. And one bigger rainbow on top. More details. Circle, 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 circle. All right. We can make these big letter C's around the eyes like they have. And a backward C on this side. D. Ho, 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 it's looking good. All right. Line. Curved line. I can only fit one of ours, so just one curved line over there. Okay. 
this is just a skinny C or a bone underneath his nose. And you can add a circle or a circle for details depending on how big you draw. A few more lines and we are done with our tonatia. So straight line for teeth, horizontal, and then some vertical lines for your teeth. By the tongue, you can do another horizontal line, horizontal line, more vertical lines for teeth. I'm just gonna draw a straight line down for my tongue. And then last but not least, some details on the earrings. Another circle inside, circle inside. Letter U, letter U, letter U, letter U. Big letter U, big letter U, and some circles. Now, after this is dry, you can even blow on it a little bit to make sure that it is dry. You can safely go through with some of your markers if you want to color on the foil. The special markers I give you should color pretty nicely. These ones right now not so nice so hopefully next week when i get out the good markers we'll get some more permanent markers and you can color on your foil and make your tonatia nice and bright like that